Hey guys, Mark here from Sea Wild Earth. Um, I was going to go out and shoot today, but uh, the weather took a bit of a dump, so uh, it's a bit wet and windy out there. Um, so what I thought I'd do uh, for this video is just to take you through and show you some of the things that I carry in my camera bag um, that I feel just make my job a little bit easier. Um, just little gadgets and gizmos that help me with my shooting and that could maybe help you guys too. So without further ado, item number one, clamps. Can't live without them. Awesome, awesome little adaptation. What I've got is uh, just a regular little um, C clamp. Um, I've put a um, ball head, a small ball head on there. Um, okay, and then that way it gives me articulation for whatever it is that I put onto my clamp. Um, things like GoPros, okay, is a, a GoPro on a clamp so that beyond the fixing options that come with the GoPro mounts, I've now got the addition of being able to clip a camera high, low, wherever I want to get that uh, really unique uh, shooting angle. Um, it allows me to do so very quick and very easy. What I also have in my camera bag, ever heard of these guys? Loom cubes, small LED lights, uh, very, very powerful. Okay, you just uh, hold it down. Boom. Okay, so power setting one, there's 10 power settings, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, boom. Uh, and then it goes back to the lower power setting. Um, awesome, awesome pieces of gear. Great for um, ambient lighting and to do something creative. Not so good for lighting people because they burn at about 6,000 Kelvin, which might be a little bit too blue for some people, all right? Um, they can be controlled by Bluetooth. Uh, charging port is in the back. Uh, underneath this little cover which when screwed down in place allows these guys to be waterproof okay so you can close them up when they're fully charged throw them in the water and that way you can create nice kind of uh, light plays in shallow water areas um, which is pretty awesome and again these are things that I can put onto the clamps and I've got directional light wherever I want it staying in the light theme okay it's always nice to have headlamp Woohoo! You never know when you're going to get caught out on the land, okay? Car may break down, or you know, you're shooting uh, sunset, and all of a sudden, you know, it starts getting darker, but the conditions are awesome. The sky starts lighting up after the sun's gone down. You're in a rural location. Uh, you need to just check and sweep and make sure you haven't left any uh, of your bits and pieces behind. Headlamps are awesome pieces of gear. Never leave home without it. I've got one that's got a, a little safety feature on the back so people behind me can see where I am. Great if, I'm, if, if I access the area with bicycle uh, and I need to ride home. Okay, uh, just safety in mind. Always got to be safe, people. Um, what else have we got? Okay, yeah, marker pen. Never know when you're going to need to mark something down. Got your marker pen right there. But more importantly, and very cunningly, I don't like carrying big rolls of gaffer tape around with me. And gaffer tape or scotch tape is something that every photographer should have with them. Um, so what I do in conjunction with my little marker pen, I don't know if you can see it already, but I've actually got a whole load of masking tape wrapped around my pen. All right, uh, and that allows me if I need to, if I'm shooting long exposure, uh, if I want to cover up an eyepiece or, or seal down a focus switch, I can do so very quickly, very easily with the um, tape that I've got on my marker pen. Okay, so invaluable tip there. Um, next, goes without saying, spirit level. Keep the, keep the camera level. Um, on my 5DSR, which I'm filming this with at the moment, um, I do have an electronic spirit level, but it's very, very finicky. You know, you just, uh, just a little bit here and a little bit there, and it's just not quite level. And with my OCD, I need it to be level. I know that I can just look at the, one of these, set it how I want it, boom, job done. Any adjustments that need to be made are going to be absolutely minuscule. So never leave home without it. A couple of bucks and really, really nice. It's always nice to see very, very proper horizons on pictures. One of my pet peeves is to have horizons that are at 45 degrees. I have expect to see a water skier go, woohoo, a silicon jobby, <laughs> silicon jobby. These things normally they are used by cyclists to keep a smart device or something on the handlebars of their bike as they're riding along. Um, but what I've found is that the uh, 
little hole that you have cores when, when they're done up, this little hole here, is awesome for attaching onto the centre column of a tripod that may elevate, like this uh, Gitzo 6X Carbon that I use for my uh, lighter work. Okay, if we just put that on there like so, that then comes through that little hole there and it attaches very, very simple and easy. Now, why would I have that? Power packs. Okay, I don't know if you guys use these, but they're awesome. Um, portable power packs, okay, if for whatever reason, particularly if I'm running like a GoPro or something, if I've got a GoPro on a tripod because I'm shooting a uh, time lapse, run a USB power cable to the GoPro, and rather than uh, relying on the GoPro batteries, which are oh, horrendous in, in, in reduced battery life, um, I use one of these 10,000 milliampere. Uh, battery packs and it'll run for hours. Okay, I, I normally travel with about four or five of these um, It's great for my iPhone great for GoPros great for recharging batteries that has that um, USB connectivity All around it's nice to be have autonomous power with you. All right next up. Let's have a look. What do we got? Ah, okay. All right, so next up a padded bag and normally just a plastic bag inside all right why do I have this? Normally I shoot in um, areas uh, that are like beachy kind of areas, loads of sand around there. What I'll do is I'll take a plastic bag, fill it up with sand, put that into here and then seal it closed. Okay, okay that way then I have a, something to sit on if I want to, something to kneel on. Yeah, my knees are getting a bit, uh, bit uh, creaky these days. Or more importantly, I can create something for a camera to sit on like a bean bag. Okay, so I've got a very inexpensive bean bag provided for by Mother Nature. Uh, and when I finished at the shoot, I can then just simply take the bag out, empty the sand out, leave it on the beach, and walk away with something that weighs a couple of grams. Okay, um, for me, what I've done here um, is I raided the uh, rice, <laughs> the rice container from my from our kitchen. The wife doesn't know yet. Okay, uh, I'll put that in there like so, and then there we go, instant bean bag. All right, so I've got my bean bag there. I can set the camera on it. Okay, if I'm if I need to shoot really low to the ground. Okay, next thing, uh, I think probably one of the last things is this. Uh, great little product. It's called the Myops Trigger, and it is a creative photography trigger that has about five scenarios. Um, I think it, hold on, let me just go through it. it. You can, when you turn it on, it goes into a uh, lightning mode. Then you have, what is it? Ooh. Sound, time lapse, laser, HDR, DIY, and then one that you can create yourself. <coughs> but it just offers you a whole bunch of scenarios uh, to shoot. Now, I predominantly use this one for time lapse when I'm shooting on the 5DSR, and the reason being, if I shoot a time lapse on a Canon camera using a Canon intervalometer, okay, once that's connected to the communication jack, I don't have any access to ramping the ISO. Now, ramping ISO is when I'm shooting from day to night and night to day. I want to adjust the ISO of the shots, okay, in order to expose my image. But when I've got, for some reason, when I've got that communication um, plugged in via the electronic cable release, I can't adjust the ramping of my ISO. I prefer to do everything manually, okay, as, as manually as possible. When I've got this thing plugged in, okay, I do have access to the ISO, which means in the pause between each shot of a time lapse, if I need to adjust my ISO because I don't want to get too, uh, low, too low a shutter speed or too fast a shutter speed, I can adjust by ISO, uh, and that way it just keeps things nicely exposed. Um, with this thing, I can do that. With the other thing I can't. All right. So, oh, and the other thing is with this, with this bad boy is uh, because I do a lot of wildlife stuff as well. My wildlife laser, my little laser pointer. Okay. It's got a receiver in the front end of the uh, unit there, right there. And when I get a laser, what I can do is I can line the laser up and point that into the receiving gate here. And so, in effect, what I do is I create a trigger gate. Okay, and that's all connected to the DSLR. So as soon as something breaks through that, that beam, that laser beam, it will trip the exposure and uh, takes a photo. 
awesome device. Um, and I believe that's about it for now. All right, guys, well, I'm hope that, I hope that some of the uh, little gadgets and gizmos that I use have kind of like lit some kind of inspirational light bulb inside your minds. Oh, wow, you know, that could serve me. I hope it does. Go out, grab them. They're all listed below if you want to check them out. Uh, and yeah, that's it. I don't want to waffle on too much. Please feel free to subscribe. Hit the notifications button so you'll be updated as and when content is uh, uploaded to this channel. And keep it real. Hope to see you guys soon. Take care. Thanks.